2-1. And now, maybe one final chance for Genoa to salvage a point from this most dramatic of encounters. Shenna! Oh, and Raider saves the day! So I decided to be a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Get £50 free to play at Tombola. Deposit £25 and play with £75. Join us for the Big Link in Bingo 90. Every night this October, a £10,000 full house prize will be won in Bingo 90 at 9pm. Download the app or go online for the Big Link, only at Tombola. And time now for Focus, which today comes in. We are at the Malmö station in the south of Sweden, one of the country's main entry points. A large open door that slammed shut suddenly last November. Over the course of a few months, thousands of people entered the country every day along these rails. Syrian asylum seekers, Iraqis and Somalis sought refuge in this country long considered a haven for refugees. Now all passengers arriving from the mainland are controlled. Where do you live? Here. I'm from Boston. Uh, Sweden has a tradition of always helping people in need and we want to carry on with that tradition but uh, I think the politics also see the, uh, a different Europe today than before. Countries do not want to take the responsibilities and I think the politicians saw this and that it was too many to handle for Sweden alone. Faced with the high influx of refugees late last year, the Swedish government put on the brakes. Since then, a hundred officers check the daily arrivals into the country. The free movement of people within the European Union is suspended here, as well as the Swedish tradition of welcoming refugees. Only 9,000 migrants have arrived in Sweden since the beginning of the year, but the Swedish Migration Board has reached saturation point. Last fall, we received over 100,000 asylum seekers, which means that uh, it was a huge increase compared to previous years. The budget of the Swedish Migration Agency needs to be doubled. And there we still wait for uh, a reply from the government. But for now, processing each case is hard work. Outside the registration centre, we meet some Syrians who have been waiting several months to be granted asylum. This person here, seven months or eight months, you don't have time for interview. This I don't, problem, I don't have appointment for the interview, yeah. This big problem. This country is very slow for everything. A fate shared by the majority of refugees who live far from city centres. The authorities have been facing a housing crisis for several years and improvised shelters in the countryside, such as here in Angleton. These asylum seekers... Such as it is. The